trying to send a message, Clark, with that slam, I think. And, and I'm not sure if it was text or email, but he definitely <laughs> threw that one down. And that one's good. And that's 15 points for Eric Gordon. Oh, such a feel shot there, the floater. Augustine with it. He's got room. And the shot falls short this time. Stolen by Harden. Anthony against Dorit. Harden outside. Sanders with the steal. And now here comes Gordon leading the break. And that one's good. Sessions. And that steal paid instant dividends. No wasted time or motion getting out on that fast break. Augustine passes to Harden. Howard setting the pick for Harden. Addition out to a reason. Pass to Augustine. Shot clock at five. Houston moving the ball around. Let's go. And he overshot that one, missing. The Knicks leading by eight. And it's Gordon penetrating. Kicks it to Sanders. Back to Gordon. Screen by Sanders. Off the screen. And it's Gordon missing. Houston now. Time running out. Here is Augustine. Here's Harden. And good. Coming in on the assist by DJ Augustine. Augustine's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. in made that one is his seventh of the contest seven for 15 from the floor just a late reaction there from the defense and he is always going to finish that one clearly he's not pleased with all the looks they've given up on the inside and also to get them to tighten up that defense yeah and i think he's going to let them know about it i mean they're playing some soft interior defense and you can't win that way that's a recipe for disaster if you're not going to play with some physicality inside One fifty-seven left to play here in the fourth. This is Damani Yunus. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Damani Yunus has got nine points now in just the second half. And 
and Sessions kicks to Anthony. And Sanders dishes to Gordon. Screen by Sanders. Feeds it to Carmelo. Misses off the right iron. Yeah, they collect one there, but overall, minus 10 rebounding for the game. And you wonder why they're losing big? Well, wonder no more. I mean, you hit the nail on the head there, partner. New York leading by six. Here's Gordon. He trains the quick shot. Gordon's got six in the quarter. And they've looked terrific in transition today. That's had a lot to do with their success. Oh, it certainly has. I mean, they've done a really good job recognizing any time they've had the numbers advantage, and then they've taken advantage. We've seen it time and time again here. One fourteen left to play in the final quarter. From 10 feet out, and the rebound goes to the Rockets. Shoots from the elbow, and there's Augustine. That's good on the assist by Harden. Here's Anthony. Oh, and he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Wow, we're going to remember that one for a while. I know I will, Kevin. Oh, that was special. My oh. goodness. That was almost a circus-like dunk. Cody Eunice has the open look. Off target from three-point range. Augustine with the steal. And here comes Harden, leading the fast break. He feeds it to Augustine. Got that bucket in in no time at all. There's 31 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And now we've got the intentional foul. Here's New York. Six-point game. And he commits the intentional foul. the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And he ends up missing both free throws. Clark, a big time possession here. Tell you what, their hearts have to be racing right now. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. He kicks to Monte Yunus. No good on the three. And he commits the intentional foul. James Harden. That's his second first first and that makes it a seven point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's an eight point game.
on the wing, Jones. For three, Barbosa. But they get it back. So it's New York picking up the win. This was a pivotal game in the series so far, and they were able to keep their heads great, get the job done, and take the all-important three games to two lead. Now they can breathe yeah, right. just a little bit easier, oh knowing goodness. they're just one win away from closing this thing out. Had they lost this game, the pressure on them would have been huge. Oh, just gigantic, you're right. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke, standing by on the sideline. Doris? Jose, obviously the offense was very sharp from the start. What were you saying to the team before and during the game about the approach you were looking to get to? The only thing I wanted to say to the guy today was just be a little bit more patient. Don't go too fast. If we don't have a good shot, they just run like a high screen or something. It's a better option than a bad shot. You know, so I think we understand that. We execute a little bit better the place. The ball went where we wanted to. So um, I think it was great. Everybody did a great job today. Jose, thank you. Kevin? All right, Doris, thank you. And that concludes our coverage of Game 5 of the NBA Finals. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. And standing by for the postgame show, let's head over to the award-winning Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. The 2K Sports postgame show. Kevin, much appreciated, and now let's move on to our Jordan player of the game. Without his leadership and his spectacular play tonight, they wouldn't be holding the lead in this series. The bottom line is, they are now in the driver's seat. Looking very good and going forward, like me and my convertible. The thing that has to jump out of you is all of those points in the paint. He found every gap in the defense that he could, and he never stopped attacking the basket. If the D was expecting him to just hang out on the perimeter, they were wrong. And that'll do it for tonight's NBA Finals coverage for Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. I'm Ernie Johnson. We'll see you for more high-stakes NBA Finals action coming up soon.